Good morning, YouTube. How are we doing? I seem to be having trouble with my GoPro. And I've been noticing this the last few days I've been making some videos. Uh, the file of my video is not a continuous file like it should be. It's just one, and sometimes it's chopped up, and that's a little weird. So if you record with a GoPro and you've noticed that, the same thing, uh, let me know so I can figure out how to fix it. Uh, I'm not really sure. I know my GoPro's up to date. I plug it into my computer every day and it gets those updates on the software. But, um, I don't know. So, it, and the last two times this morning I tried to do something. It said the file's corrupted or something. And that doesn't seem right if you ask me. So, I don't know. We'll see what happens later on. I'll have to look into it. Maybe search it on Google or something like that. But anyways, good morning. And uh, I just want to say it is August 11th, 2016. It's a Thursday. And uh, on my way to work. And oh my gosh, it's just been a long week already. I can't believe how much time uh, has been going on and gone by since the start of the week and the new day of school, the first day of school. But uh, each and every day is an adventure in my world right now with teaching and I'm excited to be there and um, I'm trying to get my students pumped up and ready for algebra in the year and uh, they seem to be doing well with that so I'm pretty excited uh, but this is my fourth recording um, I'm a little behind in uploading I think by the time you see this video it will probably be Friday or Saturday or even Sunday I don't know for that matter but I'm going to continue with my goal of having a recording every single day so keep following up with those posts and thank you for all the support everybody it's amazing I uh, really um, am digging the support so please keep it up but um, yeah it's Thursday and um, I'm excited for Thursday I'm ready to go and uh, I'm teaching my first lesson today to my students this year and it's math so we'll see how it goes I've been doing class expectations all all day, um, all week so far, so um, I'm hoping the students are ready for class in my room and they're not going to get sidetracked and all that stuff. Um, the hard part about teaching freshmen is that they're still learning a lot of things and they're still learning... Um, how to act in high school and that's the big thing for them the whole year um, you know most of them have it figured out by Christmas uh, but it takes sometimes it takes uh, a year or two before that person figures out that they need to be there and they're there to learn and sometimes it gets too late where they have to make up a bunch of credits so um, my goal is to really just make sure that they're there to learn and they get the materials I need and you know about 70 75 percent of my students I've uh, been increasing my averages I'm getting closer to 80 percent now pass overall which is nice for me you know it's expected algebra one you know is a hard class for freshmen and math but um it's it's expected for there to be a lower pass rate because it's a new transition um, there's some things I'd like to see change so that it can make that better and one of the things I think that would help that change is if they start holding students more accountable down in middle school obviously um, for example uh, a student can get straight F's in middle school in every single class and they basically promote them to the next grade without any worry or bother at all. And that has repercussions when I see those students. A, they don't have any skills to do what I'm asking them to do. It's not that they don't want to do it, it's just they don't know how and they don't have those skills. And so it makes my job a little bit harder. And um let's go guys figure it out um makes 
my job a little bit harder and um, you know I, those aren't any bad students but typically you know if they get straight F's all through middle school and then they get to high school they're already so far behind they don't even realize it and a lot of those students that are that far behind and stuff they also have behavior issues as well and that presents a problem when you get to school and so um, we need to be thinking about that and I would just like to see that change happen you know I would just like to see that change happen and it would make uh, my job a little bit easier and you know the student could you know start to feel successful and so I think how to change that would be to hold the student accountable uh, in middle school by making their grades worth a credit so that they would have to graduate middle school so to speak in order to move on and they couldn't move on unless they have that and I think it would take two years three years at the most of that climate change before we would really start to see a result but it would be a very positive result in the long run because once the student understood that or understands that hey we don't mess around when we get to high school we need you to get these credits it will cut out a lot of the um, extra stuff that most high school teachers deal with and that's the lack of skills the lack of motivation to graduate or do anything and you know that's something that's been affecting the country as of what forever with graduation rates it seems like and you know until we make a bold change like that I don't think anything's really gonna change you know you don't need more standardized tests you don't need more um, uh, after school programs and stuff like that you know keep what you have but I think that small change that I just described would definitely help the situation out and you know I think it would also get the community and parents more involved because if you have to be if your parent if you're a parent and you have to be a little more involved in your student's life in middle school that's going to prepare you for when they get to high school and you know I'm already seeing going to see that when I get to be uh my daughters get to be a little bit older I'm already going to notice that and so um, I just think that's a positive change that we could do nationwide I believe um, but you know I'm just a teacher I'm just a small guy I don't have a lot of say in big decisions like that but I think it's a serious conversation that we should have because uh, I think it would help a lot of people out and you know it would just help um, our students transition to those next stages in life that much easier and I mean think about this if you have a sixth grade student and they know that they have to take things seriously in order to pass middle school in order to move to high school they already have that in their mindset that they need to be serious about their education. Well, by the time they get to be a senior in high school, they've already been focused on this and wanting to be in college and having a career path ready to go and having that mindset. So if we could start that earlier, I bet we would see a lot more people decide to go to college, a lot more ambition and motivation to succeed. So it's a win-win if you ask me um, and that's what I truly believe so you know I really uh, think that we need to start doing something like that and uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below should they start holding students more accountable in middle school and giving them some sort of credit in order to graduate middle school so to speak um, as always, like, comment, subscribe. If you've made it this far, shout hello uh, back at me or something like that in the comments. And uh, 